what is up you guys it is your girl kia cartel here with another reading from my aquarius gang gang um happy to be here i hope you guys are having a good day do not mind me i am breaking out which if you are breaking out the first thing that comes to mind is diet change routine okay being able to cleanse your body i know that it's something that i am currently going through so i think i'm breaking out because i've actually been doing a seven day detox which honey let me tell you something it gets crazy but we're gonna go ahead jump straight into the reading take what resonates leave what does not for whoever the hell it does belong to let me tell you something things are changing okay i i've been feeling like it's it's been super important to pull the from the animal cards right the animal the thing cards whatever you guys have moth and bee come out and i think that both of these um creatures <laughs> okay these living things are very unique in their own way okay the moth specifies change in dreams just like a butterfly okay a moth is representation of something new something beautiful something trans um transcending or transitioning into this beautiful thing right um a lot of you are going through what feels like a change toward your dream so i want to of course express that it is important to dream do not lose sight of that dream do not lose the um the feeling that comes along with having what it is you dream of okay but you're gonna have to go through a change you're gonna have to get rid of some people you're gonna have to leave some people behind um and nine times out of ten some people will hand you the scissors and cut themselves off so i feel like a lot of you are going through a a motion where it's really hard to understand this transition it's really hard to understand why things are happening the way that they're happening for some of you and instead of questioning we should just be following suit right taking action continuing to do what feels best for us not everybody is supposed to understand what you are doing or what is happening for you so it's best to just live in the moment and have gratitude now again that's very very hard for some people you guys also have b coming in with responsibility and dedication okay i see flowers here so i feel like someone here has you know either been gifted or given some flowers but maybe this is a sign that you need to give yourself flowers during this time and by that i mean physically and mentally right it's okay to um again give yourself gratitude and applaud yourself for the things that you have and that you're working toward right like give me my flowers while i'm available to see them type of thing so i think in order to manifest this dream and go through this change there needs to be some self-dedication there needs to be someone holding um you know accountability holding themselves accountable for certain things, taking the responsibility. Like, you're not really going to gain what it is that you're expecting unless you put some type of motion behind it. Shit's not just about to fall out of the sky. So when we talk about, it comes up for me, going through a breakup, someone is going through a breakup or is finally in tune with what it feels like to finally get rid of somebody. You are not obligated to explain to anybody why you're elevating in a certain direction. Everybody has a different goal. Now, if you set goals with the person and you were expecting this person to just like understand, we have to stop holding such high expectations for people. Or, you know, I won't say don't go in with certain expectations, but maybe cut back on what those expectations are. Like not expecting someone new to take on the responsibility from someone old. No. Once you cut ties with that past person, you are now entering a new position, a new phase, a new connection where you cannot hold this person, this new person, accountable or responsible for the things that did or didn't get done in this other relationship. So being able to separate the fact that you are requesting a different energy, is it going to show up the way that you want immediately? Probably not. But the point is, we're going through a change. You might get with someone who has every single quality that you've asked for. But deep down inside, they're just an ugly person. And by qualities or means, I mean has a good job, 
um, you know, financially stable in, in whatever way that looks like for you, has a car, has a home, um, spends time with their family, but deep down inside, they're just a terrible fucking person. Or you can get a person who has the sweetest soul and may not have it all together, but is willing to work on that. So, I mean, when you ask for certain things in life, the goal is to be specific. We're going to go ahead and get some tarot. Tarot, tarot, tarot. Some of y'all pronounce it differently. The energy feels very smooth, right? It feels like you guys are all about self, which I like that for Aqua, especially during this time because maybe the summer is coming. We're in spring, but the summer is coming and we want to be outside. I, just, I feel like someone's trying to be outside. I feel like if you're not, you know, typically you can be a homebody, someone here, but it's it's time to have fun. It's, t it's time to enjoy the weather, taking trips. I heard abroad, so maybe someone is planning on traveling abroad, but at the end of the day, we're outside. We're enjoying life. We're experiencing things. We are naturally into nature. We have to be able to explore and, and not have limitations as to what that looks like. So I think getting outside is important for someone. I want to go ahead and tap into the energy of what it is that my Aquarius has going on. What do they have going on? Generally speaking, what are the messages that we need to pick up on? So I have fire energy coming through. You could be dealing with the Leo um, or a Cancer. I also have another Aquarius as well as an Aries. So we are in Aries season. I feel like a lot of you could have Aries in your chart or maybe there's an Aries cross watcher. But at the end of the day, we're talking about recognition. Somebody here, I strongly feel is realizing and recognizing that their life is going in a completely different direction now that they don't have you in it. And I feel like they made it harder than it needed to be, right? Someone finally realizing that you were genuinely available for them. You were honestly looking to build off of that connection and win, right? I think you wanted to see this person win um, and they made it probably like, you know, they were off for you doing the same, but really this person gives me selfish. Someone here was dealing with a person who really knew that you were the golden ticket. Um, they feel this spark and this energy from you and thought that they could use your mind to succeed in their reality. So I do feel like someone is realizing that they messed up, right? I miss you. No joke. I forgot that this was a card, but I miss you. Okay, straight up, like looking out of the window, hoping that you'll pull up, reminiscing about just the, the car talks or just the time that you guys spent someone traveling with a person here or wanting a person to travel. Okay, I do feel like a lot of you could be dealing with a person who is looking for you to just be near them. They want you to take action and come toward them, right? Okay, this person is definitely, um, yeah, I have fire sign energy for sure. But this person is definitely going through a very karmic cycle. They're experiencing a lot of drama and mental breakdowns. I feel like they're just not receiving the energy that you were giving them. And baby, I feel like we talk about this all the time. I feel like no matter what, they're not happy. Okay. And it's a little frustrating to have to mold these new people in their life. With you, Aqua, I feel like you were a very understanding person so understanding that they didn't have to um they didn't have to teach you much right it was like okay yeah we can experience these things together but you were a very like free-flowing person to the point where you were actually teaching them shit so at the end of the day it's kind of like okay now that they're stepping out which they stepped out of the connection or ruin the connection between you two because they thought that they could have their cake and eat it too. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and manipulate this situation over here and I'm going to go ahead and manipulate Aqua and everybody in my life to get what I want. I'm going to pick pieces from all of these places and these people to make sure that I am whole. And that just didn't work out with you, right? It's kind of like, baby, be careful because I'm protected. Be careful because I'm really chosen. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that your energy just isn't flowing within their life and their routine anymore is really kind of fucking them up. Now, to get into the tarot portion of this, again, we have recognition. Uh, we have you succeeding, overcoming certain obstacles, um, experience a victory. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of you are getting ready to approach achievement. I feel like hard work pays off consistency. Again, having dedication 
Okay, having that sense of dedication comes along with um, consistency. Being able to hold yourself responsible to be consistent is going to change your life in so many ways. I think be sting. Um, where am I going with this? My analogy for this is you don't have to feel defensive. Let's start there. I feel like it is in our nature as fixed signs to get a little defensive when people ain't really on the same page. It's kind of like, I'm not understanding why this isn't common sense for you. Is it me? Like, it's not you. You know what I mean? I feel like it is okay for you to live in this season where you are by yourself. And I'm not saying that you're going to be by yourself forever, but I think it's okay to go through things by yourself. I do know a lot of you can be very hopeless romantic where you're like, I just want to be a lover boy. I want to be a lover girl. I want to love, love, love. I want to have my partner. Um... And that's not happening right now for a lot of people. Right now, this is the season of single, right? This is the season of having to sit back and have everything projected in front of you so that way you're able to make certain decisions at a certain time for a certain reason. So it does feel lonely. I feel a lot of loneliness, but I also feel a lot of zen energy, a lot of calming energy surfacing based off of someone here being able to really like understand why they're going through what they're going through in this moment and not only that be able to have time to make certain decisions a lot of you live life on the go i can attest to that as an aqua i like to be on the go i like to move i like to do what i feel like doing in that moment when i'm sitting down i feel like nothing is getting done when in reality i'm sitting here because i'm needing to realize something so do not feel like you have to rush anything okay we do have Sagittarius energy coming through so I, I, I feel like there's been a lack of compromising with someone here you know what I mean there's been uh there's been some unsure energy as to whether or not a connection is going to push through now on one hand you could be dealing with multiple energies you could have multiple people looking to come toward you but I do feel there is someone strongly trying to figure out how to really reconnect and build with you this person has been in this position to try to figure out what connection you guys have for a long time we say a long time but it could be for the past five six months so um it's 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 definitely going to be an approach taking place here it's definitely going to be a call some type of message um hey what you doing can we talk where you at how you been what's the deal someone here is very arrogant when it comes down to the connection that you do have so i feel like a person is going to try to reconnect by being the funny guy right the funny person in your life where they're like you know hey what's up ain't talked to you in a minute you good you still mad at me and in reality it's like yeah motherfucker i am actually so even if you're not mad, right, that's the energy you hold because it's like, what do you want? I feel like when you let an Aquarius think and soak in something for too long, baby, we're getting rid of you. We got rid of you like, like months ago and you didn't even know. So for a lot of you, being able to feel for a person is valuable, right? It means a lot when someone has grasp um just a certain part of your energy and become a certain part you know become a part of your life i feel like the moment they ruin that it just ruins everything so we do have aquarius energy coming out in peaceful resolution moving on finally being able to compromise certain things for yourself in communication ending conflict for whatever reason um there's been certain connections that just failed and it didn't make sense right you're finally in a place where you can say you know what okay this is a good relationship to maintain and this is a, a relationship i really don't care for um transition coming again with aquarius energy okay being able to move forward without holding on to any regrets or any past failures okay i do feel like a lot of you are finding yourself to be in a calmer space gaining what it is that you ask for someone is moving here um, definitely receiving like a new car. Okay. There, I don't know why I see jewelry. Someone is receiving jewelry. Maybe you're being proposed to, um, or there is a proposal when it comes to business or just some type of offer. But I do want to say, be careful because we are entering so many different retrogrades 
in this moment it may not be mercury but depending on what retrograde your energy is aligning with there's a lot of contracts that should not be signed so a lot of you traveling traveling overseas lots of money coming in between april and i have july coming here so a lot of you definitely feel like you've been faced with so many different obstacles and hurdles at one time which you're an aquarius that's what's it's supposed to but i do have the devil coming in releasing the bondage okay a lot of you were in um very karmic connections trauma bonds you were connecting with the person based off of pain based off of hurt based off of um a place of anxiousness right where you were just like i need something i need someone around me so now that you've been able to maneuver into a place by yourself it's like i don't need anything i'm comfortable with what i have but i would like more right i want more but i'm not in need and there is nothing wrong with being in need of things i don't want you guys to think that but i do feel when you're able to change how you say things and repeat things back to yourself and how you project certain things that's how you receive it um often when we need things or we feel like we have to have things that's a rush process right because we're trying so we're trying so hard to figure out how we can get it but we don't know how to maintain it we haven't had time to really understand that's the same goes for a relationship or any connection if you're asking for a stable relationship or a stable financial state are we also asking for the ability to maintain that lifestyle or that relationship someone here enters your life with the ability to show you things that you haven't been shown before i do see a person with money okay so some of you i don't know athlete popped up i feel like a lot of you could either know or be involved maybe you're just getting athletic and you're putting yourself into some type of athletic um you know spring summer sport but i do feel like there is success that comes out of whatever situation is getting ready to take place okay i do have sagittarius coming up again in res um resilience a lot of you don't have to be so resilient right i feel like again because you have witnessed and experienced the lack of compromising to have someone who's willing to compromise with you to have and and talk through things is a little sketchy for some of you and it does suck that that's what has been programmed there are people out there who are willing to work through certain things to have a better understanding okay so you are definitely going to have multiple people in your energy because you're running into people that want to understand you versus people who realize damn they should have understood um or it wasn't asking for too much to try okay we do have unhappy family dysfunctional family broken home so uh someone wasn't being honest about the connection or a situation that they were in um i think a lot of you were dealing with a person who lied to someone else about what type of relationship they actually shared with you and once you found out the truth or this person started picking up on who you were or what the connection actually was based off of just how you maneuvered it became very chaotic i feel like there's a third party who definitely feels like you were the reason that this connection with the person that you guys both have mutually didn't succeed when in reality that person just didn't ex explain to them that they had already checked out it's not your fault that that didn't work out it's not your fault that that didn't work out what's going on as far as the energy surfacing through right now with with all that aquarius has going on i just want to know when it comes down to the signs that we have two cards fell out i don't want to pick them up off the floor i don't know why i feel like i shouldn't okay so we have illumination truth discovery awakening again yeah finding out the truth about a situation i think now that you know the truth now that you know like this person hasn't been honest with you this person hasn't been honest with their person maybe you can live happily ever after knowing that it is what it is at this point you found out the truth you weren't going crazy some of you felt this disconnect already some of you felt like a person was lying some of you felt like there was more to the story and now that you've picked up on oh yeah there actually is more to the story you don't feel so bad you don't feel crazy i feel like a person was making you feel crazy like oh you're tripping you're doing too much baby how am i tripping doing too much i'm intuitive they didn't know that about you and if they did know that about you they underestimated how intuitive you were so a lot of you do have the ability to just know i feel like this person definitely feels like a jackass yeah this is definitely the energy a fucking clown 
Now, some of you definitely may have felt like a clown dealing with a person for so long, feeling like, okay, why did I dedicate so much energy and time? Get over it. It did come out in the reverse. I typically don't like to read reversals, but you're definitely dealing with a person who is just a jackass, a person who really doesn't care about shit but themselves, nobody's feelings, okay? None of that. This person is definitely a little psycho, and I feel like, you know, who wants to be with psycho? Who wants to do that? What is this person's intentions moving forward with Aquarius? Can we get this person's intentions moving forward with Aquarius? Because I feel like that's important to know. So this person definitely feels ashamed. There's a lot of guilt. There's a lot of embarrassment knowing that they're in the wrong. So I think this person's intentions is to, again, figure out how they can fix this situation for or with you. But I do feel like a lot of you are so far gone. It's like whether or not you come toward me, I've already... I've already figured out what's next for me. And a lot of you are not willing to go back. Now, for those of you that are in a connection with the person that you barely trust, and I say barely trust, because I do feel like someone here may have done or said something that made you look at them twice, made you look at them a little different. It is completely up to you as to whether or not this relationship is going to maneuver properly. If you're in a relationship with someone right now that you don't fully trust, I think a lot of you need to be asking yourself different questions. Am I wasting my time? What am I doing here? So a person definitely feels guilty with how the connection ended up, okay? There was an ending to a situation, a connection here, and this person is going through a lot of shame, okay? Wanting to really figure out how can I make this better? Where do you stand with things? You feel it shady. <laughs> You're feeling like, yeah, no, you, you do me dirty once, it, it is what it is. I feel like a lot of you are in this state of protecting yourself, um, which is not an issue because a lot of you are getting ready to endure so much uh, success and come across so many things that you've requested. Having this person from the past might be an interference. I feel like for a lot of you, it is going to be a distraction that takes place on purpose to see whether or not you can continue without this person and you know, do what needs to be done for you first rather than putting this person first. Or if you're going to actually take the time as you normally do to see what's going on with this connection and put off what it is that you want and what's for you. So I do feel like a lot of it is going to be um, a distraction in your life. Let's not get held up by the distraction. Someone here, you know, had the good good going on. I feel like a lot of you may have had a very sexual connection with this person or maybe this person was just addicted to the energy that they received from you through um your intimate connection so at the end of the day you know it is going to hurt somebody here and it's going to be a very difficult separation if you haven't already gone through that but i i do want to say that a lot of you are on the right path if you're questioning i have the letters s j e t d g and l coming through specifically i don't know what that's about um but we have trapped don't get trapped in the mind games that this person is getting ready to play on you okay this person is literally practicing what to say to will you back in okay no there's so many fish out in the sea baby this is not one that you want to be intertwined with right they're figuring out what bait they can put out there to will you back in that's as simple as it gets um bad news someone receiving bad news or just news you don't want to hear i feel like a person could be coming with that trying to make you feel sympathy or you know gain some sympathy from you with a bad story at the end of the day someone is going through legal matters again there is a third party interaction okay someone who is married possibly going through a divorce at this time because the other person found out about you and again it's not your fault but i do feel if a person is in a marriage right now, they are truly wanting to be with you. And it's a lot of chaos going on in a different home right now. While you're elevating, succeeding, found out the truth, had a spiritual awakening, there's someone here going through a very karmic situation because they couldn't be honest with both parties, right? Um, maybe they have child support or traffic issues, who's to say, but this person is definitely going through some legal matters where they need to put more focus into what they have going on than this connection anyway, because a lot of you are just... You're having to teach too much. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot happening in this energy. I will say, regardless, be prepared for a person to try to 
crawl their way back in okay which most of the time they do you guys have speak up i feel like moving forward no matter what the connection is no matter what the situation is you are being called to speak up be vocal about what it is that you want and what you dislike what is uncomfortable and what is comfortable what you accept and what you want a lot of you are allowing things to eat you up inside because you aren't speaking up so to be able to free your mind your spirit and your soul with certain things we need to be able to say where we stand comfortably um i think a lot of you are going to endure a lot of happiness with being able to freely express your mind i don't know why i feel like someone has i'm, I'm hearing hush up so i do feel like a person has made you feel like everything you say is an issue or yeah, I don't want to harp on that too much because I just feel like whoever that is is definitely a control freak and we we get rid of control freaks, right? Like we can't be controlled. Um, that's just not happening. I do have fresh start, okay? Someone is definitely getting ready to, you know, again, do exactly what it says. Gain a fresh start, a new opportunity, okay? You have something that's being presented for a new beginning and i do feel like a lot of you are the gift that keeps giving but i do feel like a lot of you are going to be rewarded with blessings based off of the fact that you are just the giver right like you finally start receiving things um times 10. so i do want to say what is this we do have surrender yeah it's okay to surrender it's okay to say you know what i am starting over and i'm comfortable with starting over there's so many flags that are up and whether or not those are red flags, gray flags, black flags, there's so many flags with a certain situation that has been brought up. So it's up to you to pay attention to those flags, pull yourself back so that way you can maneuver in a different direction. I will say, I'm going to end the video here. I honestly feel like the energy was moving so quick, even though it feels so calm, it feels like you are getting ready to enter a completely new season. This is go season. I encourage everybody to pay more attention to their themselves. You definitely have someone here who misses you so much that they're willing to create chaos in order to get back to you. And this is going to be a very tricky time because you're going to have to not only maintain your sanity, but you're going to have to maintain discipline right self-control and all of these things are going to have to intertwine in one so that way you can properly speak up and say hey hell no nah. you will not cross me you will not interfere with what i have going on because i am moving into a better direction aqua it's aqua season we don't even have to really go in depth as to how amazing you guys are you guys have a lot of opportunities again coming your way so i do want to say again if you are new to my channel welcome if you are not new welcome back be sure that you guys go over to sensitive savage which is my vlog channel check it out i'm an aqua myself um and i am uh still in the process which i'm hoping by tomorrow it's up and running but i will have a channel for all signs it's going to be general reading so i definitely want you all to tap into that especially if you're into your rising moon all of that good stuff like it's good to just figure out the other energy but we're jumping into it i also have merch that is dropping the aquarius merch for the crew necks are out right now but we will have all signs dropping here soon so you guys make sure that you guys go check that out it's a gift from me to you to be able to have that available um and that just is what it is i love 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 you all it is four four so you guys make sure that you take the time to give yourself again lots of gratitude manifest what it is that you truly desire and be intentional with what it is you're asking for i will see you guys in the next video hit my instagram if you guys want to check in with me send me messages personal readings i am doing personal readings i might throw this in the beginning of the video as well but if you would like a personal reading it is 50 dollars for 45 minutes um a lot of my readings go over 45 minutes baby we be pushing an hour but I would love to connect with any of you who would like a personal reading. I do all of that via Zelle and Cash App as far as the payment goes. Let me know what city you're in. Let me know the time frame. And we'll definitely schedule according to that. But I am going to call it a night. I love you all. We out. Bye.